If a short tail, orange cat, meet with a long tail, black cat, what are possible characteristics of their kitten? Yes, you are correct. The kitten could be orange and has a long tail. Other possibilities are short tail, orange cat, or long tail, black cat, or even short tail, black cat. In this video, we are going to explore whether the two genes are inherited independently or vice versa. They ignore one another when they are sorted into gametes or stick together and get inherited as a unit through Mendel's second law or the law of independent assortment. Dihybrid inheritance involves inheritance of two characteristics like seed shape and color of the seed. For the seed shape, round seed is a dominant trait while constricted seed is a recessive trait. For the colour of the seed, yellow seed is a dominant trait while green seed is a recessive trait. Mendel cross two pure breed parents of a tea plant between round yellow seed and constricted green seed. Pure breed means both parents are homozygous. Round and yellow seed is a homozygous dominant, while constricted and green seed is a homozygous recessive. These two pairs of alleles will segregate during meiosis process. Only one allele contains in a gamete. Homozygous dominant parents produce a gamete that contains only dominant allele RY. While homozygous recessive parents produce gamete that contains only recessive allele RY. These gametes will fertilize and produce heterozygous first filial offspring that are all RRYY. All of the first filial offsprings are round and yellow because they are called dihybrids. Di means two characteristic and hybrids means heterozygous. The phenotype shown is round and yellow because they have at least one dominant allele R and one dominant allele Y. So now we are going to see what will happen if we self-pollinated between the first filial. A cross between dihybrids is known as a dihybrids cross. During the formations of the gametes, there are four possible gametes produced. Gametes contains both dominant allele R Y. The gametes contains at least one dominant allele and one recessive allele. Or the gametes contains both recessive allele R Y. Since there are four types of gametes for both male and female, Punnett square is used to combine them. To make the square, the four equal probably gametes types are put along each axis. Then, the gametes on the axis are combined, representing the fertilization process. If the genotype of the second filial have at least one dominant allele, R and Y, so the phenotype shown is round and yellow. If the genotype of the second filial contains at least one dominant allele for round and both recessive allele for green, so the phenotype shown is round and green seed. Next, 
If the genopa of the second pillar contains both recessive allele for the seed shape and at least one dominant allele for the color, so the phenotype shown is constricted seed and yellow seed color. Finally, if the genopa of the second pillar contains both recessive allele for seed shape and seed color, so the phenotype shown is constricted and the offspring genotype in the boxes correspond to the 9-3-3-1 ratio of phenotype. There are four possible phenotypes can be produced, which are 9 round yellow seeds, 3 round green seeds, and 3 constricted yellow seeds, and finally 1 constricted green seeds. Therefore, Mendel concludes that during the formations of the gummy, allele is segregating and arranged independently with another pair of allele. In other words, they do not stick together, but they can combine independently. This is Mendel's second law or law of independence assortment.